The anterior cruciate ligament tear is a common problem in dogs, and generally speaking, it's a lameness, a limping. It can just happen when they're just running around outside, or they can have a more slow onset of lameness. It can be in either hind leg, and it's associated with dogs who have straightness and not very good angulation in the rear limbs. I'm Dr. Sherry Morris, and I've been in practice for 27 years. The diagnosis is mostly by palpation, so physical examination, because these dogs have thickening of the knee, they have extra joint fluid accumulation, and they have looseness or laxity in the joint. The research suggests that dogs who have surgery do better than dogs who don't have surgery. The MMP is a moderately priced procedure that allows more people to have a bone cutting procedure. It isn't as common as some other procedures like the TPLO or tibioplateal leveling osteotomy, but bone cutting procedures in general tend to give better long-term performance, less arthritis, and should get about 90% function. Instead of tightening the joint, like some of the older procedures that we've done, the bone cutting procedures actually change the angle of the joint and allow these dogs to have a stable knee when they put their foot down. And so the dog doesn't have as much pain and they start to use the limb much more quickly. The process is it's a, a one day procedure for him. He's gonna stay in the hospital and have surgery today. I like the MMP because it has much less recovery time and it, they seem to recover better and more quickly. He will be on what I call house arrest for four weeks and he'll go out to potty walks but no loose in the yard for four weeks. After that, we'll do an x-ray. As long as at four weeks his implants look good, then we'll allow him to go forward and go for walks and uh, still no loose in the yard for four more weeks. So a, a total recovery time typically is around eight weeks.